I, I want to segue into the, sec the second section of the film, which is the sea. And I want to ask a question I think is so, it, to me, it's the, it's the most powerful part of the whole film. And it's where we really start getting into the character of God and the Father, the, the heart of the Father, the face of the Father. So, so this is the question. What is God's facial expression towards me, even in the moment of giving in a temptation? In, in my darkest moments, what does his face look like? I thought uh, Paul Young, uh, his, his piece on it was so powerful. He said it took him 50 years to get the face of his own father wiped off the face of God. I mean, that, that to me was like, yeah. you know, that was the line of the movie for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, but, but right away we're seeing, is this how I see the father? What, what, what did you guys think there? Yeah, the variety of, of emotions, and I still do. Yeah. When, yeah, thou mayest, but how about when I don't uh, mm -hmm. make that right choice? What's the character of the father in my life? Mm -hmm. And I remember my own dad being a good dad, but not being a perfect dad. And so I remember both faces yeah. Yeah. when I when I made the right choice and when I didn't. Right. And and when I didn't make the right choice. There was a lot of triggering of uh, not acceptance, mm. uh, but performance. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I have to do better next mm. time. And the relationship with the father, my father, uh, would break mm. for a period of time. Wow. And that, that hurtfulness still comes to me from time to time when I think of the Heavenly Father. Wow. And so I don't know if it, maybe Paul got it all wiped off, but I, I haven't yeah. got a perfect slate wow. uh, when yeah. I don't respond as with a healthy choice yeah so. yeah I think I think there was a similar like fickleness mm. you know that comes from this idea of like even even you know with my own father like I, I've I've kind of kind of always seen him as two different people there's this like mm. larger than life he my father was involved in the civil rights movement mm. you know what I'm saying he was a, he went to Vietnam like he was just Black Panther, like he's just this, and if you were to read about him in a book, you're like, dog, this dude's amazing, wow. you know? But he also was n not that same at home, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And um, this, the, like you said, the amount of fond memories I have of him, I have just as many like, mm. you have incredibly disappointed me, you know mm. what I'm saying? And, and I want nothing to do with you. Like there was these, there's both of these men mm. like wrapped in one, right? Um, but he was one of the most encouraging people when it comes to like my art, right? So wow. he was always like, you're talented, there's something for you. Wow. So out of that, it wasn't for his love, but it was like, so become a good performer. Wow. Because when you perform, then he's, that's when dad's patting you on the back. Yeah. Like, and that's he's coming to my games and seeing my, you wow. know, recitals and stuff like that. And that's when dad is proud of me. Wow. That's when I'm killing it, mm. right? Um, so there, so, so then even seeing the father in the film, mm. play the violin with him. It's like, right. I almost got nervous, like, don't miss a note, don't miss a note. <laughs> right. We're playing together, we're supposed to be making music together, you wow. know? Um, but the, the, what struck me, there's two things that struck me, one good and one bad. One, the one thing that struck me that was, I'll start with the bad, was that like, oh, here we go, another old white dude playing God, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. like, mm. The last thing I need to see, and you, you want me to relate to this dude? You feel me? Like, I'm supposed to, like, feel some yeah. love in this dude's eyes? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, there's another white guy playing God. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, right. like, so there was that, right? But, so that was the bad part. But I would say, but in the good part, what you saw was, like, hmm. there was such a, a joy. Like, it's almost like, like the father had pleasure playing with the son. Wow. It wasn't so much like, oh, I'm trying to That's entertain it. my son. It That's was like, it. no, 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 no. I... I, this is my joy. Wow. Right? Um, so, so now when I think about like even my own, like my own children, you know, my, when I'm counting merch, if you will, like when mm -hmm. I'm about to say, my daughter wants to help. And I'm right. like, you're going to count it all wrong. <laughs> right? I'm going to have to recount this. You're, you're not really helping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But, but I want you here because yeah. right. you're my daughter. I just, yeah. I'm enjoying this time with you. Mm -hmm. Right? So I think that, you know, the 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 over overcoming like the, the socio cultural and, and ethnic like right, like right 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 issue I had there almost even pushed me further into saying but see like above those challenges mm. like a God that still just desires like I'm enjoying my time with you right wow yeah. that's profound I lo I love the word you use fickle 
Yeah. yeah. Because because that's it. I think yeah. it, you know because the, we have human parents. Yeah. Right. And they're forced into living fickle lives yeah. like we all are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, so there is going to be that yeah. I had an awesome father but eh, you know there's two sides of him because there's two sides to all of us. Yeah. Right. You know but 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 it's so relatable. Mike what was something that stood out to you? Yeah, just to I maybe play off of propaganda you mentioned the word disappointment and I'm not exactly sure what the face of God looks like when I'm making poor choices but I do know that it's not disappointment. And I think there's an interesting study that they asked uh, believers, you know, the what is the overwhelming feeling that God has for you? And whether we're doing right or wrong, the, the survey comes back saying that the majority of people, Christians, believers, think God is disappointed in them. Sure. That they're not measuring up. Even if they are making really good choices, they still feel like they're not enough. Mm. And so this sense of um, remove and disappointment is a it's a natural human response to mm. poor choices, but that's where it gets really right. messy. And that's where the problem comes in, is we start attributing uh, human attributes and human right. common sense to how God's reaction would be to jumping off into the water wow. versus saying, you know, I do know that God's main relationship with me is love. Mm. And so I've got to believe that whether I'm doing great are, are doing horrible, whether I'm with him or away from him, the, the overwhelming emotion, feeling, posture, face that he has for me mm. is a face of love and wow. acceptance. Wow. Yeah. That's so powerful. We so have to hold on to that. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and what you're saying, I really thought what was so profound about the movie was it helped me remove myself from being just this Jesus person. Because I'm so Jesus save me, he healed me, he, 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 it, through him is redemption and forgiveness for our sins, and it's all about Jesus, and thank God for Jesus, because yeah. if not, yeah, yeah. the wrath of the Father, yeah. the Father's so disappointed in me, yeah. I am, but I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus our Lord, and when he looks at me, he doesn't see me, he sees Jesus, because he became sin for me, and so it's Jesus, Jesus, and, I, and the movie really helped me go like, wait a second, I can actually sing that song, he's a good, good, good father, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I'm, it helped me take a step back mm. to God. Yes. Yeah. The Father, wait, where has he been? I love Jesus so much, but the Father, I'm, I'm afraid of him. Mm. I'm scared of him. So this helped me even personally rewrite who he is in his character and his nature. God is love. There is therefore, you know, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. But you know what? God loved us and gave us Christ Jesus. Mm. It was the pursuit of the Father that wanted this relationship. So I thought it really helped me personally in this section to, to see the face of the Father correctly. Yeah. I know when I was growing up, uh, I was kind of an awkward kid, geeky kid. I know that's kind of hard to believe. That this, <laughs> There's no way. You know, it's like I wear glasses, braces, broken front teeth. I, I was a bit of a mess in high school, physically, emotionally, all of it. And, um, you know, the... My dad, I actually have a, have a really, I'm one of the lucky ones, I have a great dad. Mm. And, um, and I always thought like, I wondered if my dad wished I had a girlfriend in high school because I never had one. Or I wish my dad w thought I was more athletic or at sports or was a starting forward on the high school basketball team, which I wasn't. I was, right. the, I was a geek, a nerd, skinny, unathletic. I was all these things that I, I did not like about myself, but I just, I, I knew that like, even though in my, my own story, I felt like I was failing. Mm. My dad's always saw me, he, did, he could care less mm. Mm. about any of that other stuff that I was so concerned about. Mm. The only thing that he was um, so sh certain of is that his love for his son. Mm. And that to me is sort of the, we get very much caught up in the stuff, mm -hmm. where the story looks like, where the failure looks like, where the, you know, we jumped off the cliff five times, 50 times, it doesn't matter. Like, God's relationship is like, I see you as my son and my daughter. That is the relationship um, that, the, the, you know, it's like the prodigal son story. Far away, he runs away, like, son comes back with the speech, trying to prove his worth, you know, just put me to work, you know, as mm. <laughs> one of your workers. Like, sorry, I don't do that. Yeah. I only do right. relationship with sons and daughters. Wow. And so, like, that's... That's the stuff that we got to get off of ourselves and, yeah. and our human um, context, yeah. our, our own sort of self-loathing and self-condemnation that's in us, our mm. own performance. We got to get rid of all those ideas and get back to, I'm a son and daughter 
right. of a father who deeply loves me. Wow. Yeah. So powerful. And it, like you said, the context, that's, even if you had a good father, uh, the, the theme and the narrative of the film, and I think what we're all saying is, the picture that we give God is the father we had, mm -hmm. our right. earthly human right. father. Right. Whether it's good or bad, I realize for me, I have to remove that. I did have a good father. And it, to me, my dad was larger than life. Mm. Six five, mm -hmm. played college basketball, yeah. you know, this big guy. I remember being on the playground in kindergarten and it was this banter between kids, you know, saying, my dad's stronger than your dad. Do you remember <laughs> right. doing this? Yeah. And it had escalated and it started like, my dad can lift, you know, a lot of weight or my dad could, you know, tear that tree down. I had somehow got, it got so escalated that I said, my dad could lift that car up with his pinky. That's what I tell everyone in kindergarten, you know? Because my dad was larger than life. Wow. Yeah. My dad was strong. Yeah. So then in my course of life, when bad things happened to me or things that I didn't expect to happen, I was crushed when I didn't see God being so strong mm -hmm. or the way I needed him to be strong. Mm -hmm. wow. Now my perspective of my dad wasn't bad, mm. but I had put that on God, this context, our cultural context, yeah, yeah. our wow. emotional yeah. context, our his, uh, the historicity of our life and our stories and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. comes together mm -hmm. and we project it on God and then we're disappointed when God isn't who we want him to be, who wow. we think he needs to be, what we expect him to be, because God is so much bigger than all those things. Wow. And I realized as I was watching it, I'm like, I didn't have a bad dad. Mm. But I yeah. still was putting, I was projecting things that I've expected God to do for me. Wow. And that has affected my relationship with receiving his love, like right. knowing who God really is and, right. and not putting that on, just letting God be God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow. feel like that's freeing to us if we're like, okay, God, I don't understand it all, but I'm gonna trust you. Right. I'm gonna come to the table, I'm gonna trust you. It's amazing. It, it, darkest moments, worst moments, how we see him just in everyday life really determine when we're in those moments if I'm coming back or not. Yeah. And, that, and, and it's, a, it's an old saying, but you know, conviction leads us to God and condemnation drives us away. Mm -hmm. I think condemnation, though, is also rooted in, the, in the, a false reality, a false picture of who the Father is. Yeah. Let's talk about that just for a moment. In, in, in the darkest moments of our life, how, how do we even grasp that the Father is still inviting this violin relationship. Like, how do I wrap my mind around that? I'm betraying his trust. I'm hurting his heart. I'm fleeing from his presence. I, I, I'm, I'm not coming to the table. I don't, I don't want to be at the table right now. I want to be yeah. enjoying all this other stuff. And uh, it just feels like too big of a, of a climb, number one. And number two, does this guy really want me back? Talk mm -hmm. to me about that moment. In my darkest moments, can I trust him? Is he good enough to take me back? That's what he's trying to prove to us, mm -hmm. that he's good enough. And, and he is not on a timeline. He will take our entire lives to convince us yeah. that on our worst day, mm. he is crazy mm. in love with us. Mm. Yeah. That's, you know, it says that the Father gives all these good and perfect gifts. Yeah. That's the gift. Yep. That's yeah. the joy yeah. that you're talking about. Mm. Or, or that's the, the face, you know, mm -hmm. where he's not disappointed. Mm. He's coming after you. Right. He's loving you. Right. And so, I think about that on, on my worst days. I think when I've made not one, but several unhealthy choices in a, right. in a day. Yeah. Right. And I go, gosh, what I need to remember right now is that face. Right. Yeah. And he's going, bring it. You know, yeah. I, I, I want you. Right. And, yeah. And I want you at this table. Wow. Um, so here's, here's some more food. Here's some more yeah. wine. Take wow. it in. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's what he's trying to convince us of. It's amazing. Yeah. Perfect gift. Like a timeline. I think that it's a journey. Mm. And yeah. God doesn't give up on us. We got to keep. Right. Mm -hmm. We just got to keep going. It's the journey. Like, right. e eventually that picture is going to change. Eventually you're going to see God. <laughs> you're like, I'm not there yet. Yeah. 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 I don't think any of us are there yet. Yeah. We keep trying to get to this destination. Yeah. But I think God's just all about the journey. Like, right. yeah. keep looking at me. Yeah. You're going to, the picture is going to change. It's going to get yeah. better and better. Yeah. And, but when you said timeline, that's what it made me think of. It's a journey. And that just gave me hope. And then I got a better picture of God right there, like mm. smiling, like, mm. yeah, okay, yeah. you're there. That's, that's who you are. Yeah. Well, and I, I think, you know, um, let's say I come back to the banking table and everything's restored and it's great and it's awesome. And I, you know, I last a year or so, but what if I, I go back again? The only thing that would bring me back to that table is if I'm convinced of a good father, yes. yeah. the right father. Yeah. He does still love. He does. We're so cause and effect. Yeah. We're so conditional in our human nature. It's so hard to grasp or comprehend an unconditional love. 
And I think it goes back to, to Romans, what Paul says, it's his kindness. Mm -hmm. And if I can see a father that is kind, it's his kindness that leads us to repentance. Why in the world would I ever come back and pick up that violin again if I didn't believe he was so good and gracious yeah. and kind yeah. and loving and faithful and merciful and all the things that we know yeah. him to be true, but we somehow yeah. have put our own father's face there. Yeah. That's part two of the table and the relationship that we talked about earlier. Is that sometimes somebody else has to go get the violin yeah. and bring me back to the wow. table mm. and say, you know what? You're lying to yourself. Yeah. Wow. What are you doing, man? The, yeah. 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 This yeah. is who the father is. So yeah. let's start playing again. Wow. Yeah. That climb, to me, that the image of the climb, because to me, that's what I think about where I'm like, if I'm in those like dark moments, and it's like I'm sitting there, it, I mean, it's LA traffic. You're like, <laughs> I have to go to the valley. At some point, I have to get to the valley. Right. So you're just sitting there going, but drive you know what I mean so right. like and sometimes the just the sheer the sheer traffic threat of traffic alone is like man I'm not going nowhere you know so sometimes I, that's the one for me to where I'm like I know once I get there it's gonna be amazing mm. but I'm like but the work I'm gonna have to do mm. you know and the work oftentimes becomes my focus or right. let's just say you do and then I'm sitting there and then you're like again that sense of like i I really didn't, I really don't deserve to be here. You know, mm -hmm. um, kind of goes back to the point to think that well, that's because you, you, you actually thought you deserved to be here the right, first time. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So like, sure. so the whole time you had a soft, false sense of, wow. right? So, and, and then, and then, the, and then it's a gut punch again. Like, right. I, I still don't get it. Right, you know what right, I mean? right, right. Um, you know, and yeah, so exactly like you, 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 you put yourself on this, like, three strikes you're out, like type wow. thing. Like you did that to yourself. Like, right. so you're like, cause, because if you were sitting in the seat of the father, you'd mm. be like, what? Yeah. Do you not want to be here, bro? Like, yeah, you, yeah. look, man, you don't want to be here. You know, it's fine. You know, so, so, so I, I think of that. And, and, and I think of like, as corny as it is, as fresh, you know, it, it, it helps having, for me, it helped having my own kids to be right. like, you know, as, in, in enormously irritated or frustrated. I, I don't trust any, any parent that says their kids don't get on their nerves. I don't, <laughs> I don't trust you at all. Because I'm like, you're a, then you don't love them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't love your children. Yeah. Or you're not there, yeah. right? Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. so your kids should get on your nerves. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. right? So, so in there, but like in, uh, when I have no nerves left, mm. I'm like, it's, but when dinner comes, I'm still gonna make you, what are you talking about? You are my daughter, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, and you're still my daughter. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's no amount of Fs you can t come home yeah, with yeah. that's gonna like make you not my, what do you, what? Right. You know, and how, oh my God, how devastated I would be if my daughter was like, daddy, I thought you didn't love me if mm. I did this. Like, it would, I would no. just be crushed, like, baby, like, oh my, what did I do? Oh my gosh, what did I do? How am I communicating? I'm not communicating correctly then because there's nothing you can do that can change that. Wow. You know, and just how heartbroken that, that would make me, mm. right? So, and I have to learn how to like, okay, so I know I'm not the best picture of it. I know my, my dad's not the best picture of it, but I know that feeling right. is the picture of the father where it's like, wow. how, how, like, how dare you think I don't want you here? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, you stepped in a huge pile of dog poop. Yeah. Can I, should I call it poop? Yeah, should that's good, that? that's good. I'll We're say right. poop, just yeah. in case. Okay. Drop it on the table. Yeah, we'll just, you, <laughs> kept, you stepped in duty. You know it's what I'm restoration saying? hardware where we it's, can clean it's, it. It's all good, you know? <laughs> yeah, so you step, of course, I'm not gonna ignore the fact that your foot stinks. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's, but, it's because I love you. Yeah. Like, I think that's what we're trying know? to get after. It's yeah. like, what is the face of the father when I'm in the moment of, of, my, of my sickness? Yeah. My yeah. chains, my bondage, yeah. my perversion. When I'm in these moments of temptation and then even giving, giving into that, it is, is the, does the father sit there with a cheesy grin going, ah, uh -huh, still love you? Yeah, right. like, yeah. What is his face? <laughs> is, 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 does he feel disappointment? Because I, I think... The, the imagery I got from the movie was concern, yeah. compassion, yeah. care. Yeah. It, wasn't, um, it wasn't harsh. 
Yeah. And I, we think harsh. We think disappointment. Going back to your, to you know what most Christians believe about mm -hmm. God, I disappoint. We all feel that innately, like ah, oh, he's he has to be disappointed because I'm disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. How could I go back to that? Why did I do that thing? I told God I would never. I oh, I'm so mad and frustrated at myself. Surely he feels the same, right? Like, how do we wipe that off? Yeah. Yeah, I love the, the sense of longing that that father has longing. for. Yeah, yeah. A, a longing totally. to, you know, I, I've given you something better, and yeah. I'm going to keep giving it to yeah. you. I'm not stopping here. Yeah. And so I'm inviting you again to yeah. enjoy this. Yeah. God is always more interested in our tomorrows than yes. our yesterdays. Yes. Oof. And he has got right his mind. He has right got his sights on that for me. Yes. And that's why it's not disappointment. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that's why it's more longing or as yeah. you were saying, he's going after. He's, yeah. he's loving me in the midst of yeah. all my stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I love that in the movie, that sense of longing. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. And he keeps looking. Like he doesn't yeah. turn away. That's right. You yeah. know, like he goes after. I, some people's image wow. of God is that, you know, and it's for some, it, it's an ancient belief that mm. God created us, and then He has nothing to do with us. Like mm. He can't be bothered by humanity. But you know, there's a lot of. I mean, I, but I believe that's in modernity. I think a mm. lot of people today think similar to ancient thinking, which was that wow. God may have made us. There probably is a God out there. Mm. Yeah. I'm just not totally sure He's interested in me. Wow. Yeah. And I always think of that in Psalms. I think it's in Psalms. It's like God cares about every detail of our life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that the Father like kept looking at Him, He didn't turn His head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was this, con not concern, but yeah, but compassion and longing. And mm. But I loved the, the idea that He does not turn His back. Yeah. He doesn't turn away. He's looking at you. He's going to keep that eye contact. How terrible are we at eye contact today? Yeah. Oh, man. We can't oh, yeah. keep it for, oh, yeah. you know, very long. But God just keeps looking. Mm -hmm. And he's not this distant, far-off mm -hmm. being who doesn't care about you, who's not invested right. in you, and just, like, do whatever you want, or it's not disappointment. He's, yeah. he's none of those things. Yeah. He's very intimately involved in every detail of our life. Wow. Yeah, the, there's, you know, at the, at the um, before, before the boy runs and walks off the cliff, which was like, did we all go <gasps> right? But um, but before <laughs> don't that, do it. yeah, don't do it. yeah. When 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 they were sitting at the table and he sees his son like looking another way, he just kind of looks at him like, uh, okay, you know what I mean? Like just that moment of like in in the face there, mm. it's almost like you see you see dad like going, I know exactly where this is gonna lead. Yeah, like. I'm, I'm telling you, son, this is gonna suck, dog. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. this is gonna suck, dude. You know, and and um, mm. the 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 overwhelming sense I get is like he's like, dog, I'm just I'm bummed for you. Yeah. Like where it's like, you you are about to go through some crap mm. right now, dude. And it's like, and I, I'm just I'm bummed you're there. Yes. You know what I mean? And I think that you know, I mean, without being corny, but or free book, book plug, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the lost art of empathy, like right. to be like, and I think that that's what you're looking at right here is like, I like, oftentimes if somebody's uh, mourning, like a lot of times we, you want to go there and like, well, cheer up or like right. try to pull you. It's like, no, like sit in this with me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that that's an art. And I think that like th this film kind of took me there to where, mm. you know, God is like, yo, I'm I, like, I'm sitting in this with you. And yeah. It's, like I really, yeah. yeah, I'm like I'm bummed. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm bummed you're going through this. It, it's it's so you know Luke, what I mean? it's so yeah. Luke 15 to me. It's yeah. so prodigal son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, it's it's the dad walk. Here's your inheritance. All right, you're, dude. you're walking down the gravel road, yeah. Yeah. and I am sitting there going like, Hey, Tim Shell, I gave you free will. This is your choice. Do you realize the heartache and the pain? This is gonna suck. This is gonna hurt you, but yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna woo you back. I'm gonna be yeah. waiting. I, I'm, I've, I've got a signet ring and a robe, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. a party waiting. But I think getting that picture of the father—it's everything. Because I believe uh, Joseph Prince says, "Right believing leads to right behaving." Yeah. And if you believe right, we have these friends in uh, Australia, and the wife told me the most amazing story. She said uh, their twin girls were in class, and the teacher gave them a, a, an assignment. Said, "Draw a picture of your father's face." Both girls, twins, they came home with the picture of their dad's face, and the dad's face was smiling. 
and the wife says to uh, the husband, hey, great job, yeah. you're winning, yeah. because wow. they, they got, this is, this is the image they have in their, in their yeah. head. The first reaction is go, my dad smiles. And I just wonder, for us, when we live our life, what picture do we have of the Father? Because if he's not smiling, I'm not coming. I'm not, I'm not right. running home to that. Yeah. At some point, the prodigal son, it says he comes to his realization, comes to his senses, and he goes, Dad's better than this. Yeah. 